Hello and welcome to 60 Second Gamer podcast number three. This one is for Pixel Junk Shooter, uh, which is a game that was released a um, week before last on the PlayStation Network. It is the fourth game in the Pixel Junk series. And just like its predecessors, Monsters, Encore, and Racer, it is very, very good. Now, I shall probably be doing most of the talking in this review because um, neither of you have really played it. No. So, uh, joining me uh, for this podcast, as ever, Rich Hatton. Oh, hi. And Aunt Tremaine. Good evening. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> So uh, we're just going to play a bit of uh, the first couple of levels <coughs> on Pixel Junk Shooter, which... Um, I've seen this level, you played it last yeah, week. Which, um, in true Infinity Ward style um, pricing scheme, is actually £2 something more expensive than their previous games. Because uh, the uh, the first few games were all like three ninety nine something like that. Yeah. This one, uh, because obviously uh, Infinity Ward can get away with it for uh, for a game... They've charged six pounds twenty nine. Disgusting. Mm. So um, yeah, it's um, it's I, worth it. I think the, yeah. the the given their their past um, sort of gaming uh, caliber, I think um, as you can tell, my aim is terrible. <laughs> given their uh, their previous gaming history, Pixel Junk are justified the uh, the extra expense. I think. Now the uh, the game has you piloting a uh, a tiny little spaceship through a physics laden uh, landscape where uh, fire and water are the two main elements and the uh, obviously the contrast between these two. Um, various levels have you um, having to use water to um, douse some flames in the the lava. Uh, other levels have you um, doing it the other way round. And uh, there, I believe there's oil on uh, stage three, which uh, obviously adds another element to it. Yes. What are these orange bits that you pick up? The orange bits are crew members. Uh, no, I know that they're crew members. The little round circles. Uh, oh, the the little parrot things. Yeah. Uh, I have no idea. They're, they're just like points. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> It's one, of those things collect, it's one of the things you collect uh, to get more lives, that sort of thing. Right. And uh, obviously, uh, I've just killed one of the guys. Oh, you shot one! And uh, that's that's frowned upon. But uh, you also in most societies. Yeah. Uh, you, obviously, you lose points and uh, health if you uh, shoot the little orange men. Um. And basically. As well, uh, you have to avoid the the lava at all costs, pretty much, because it just basically uh, once you ship, you've got a little um, meter at the bottom of the screen that fills up slowly the closer you get to the fire, and uh, the more that fills up, the more likely your ship is to uh, crash and burn. So uh, you can either run away from the fire, which is usually a very good idea. Or you can douse yourself in water, which will um, instantly reduce your uh, your heat sensitivity. And it looks like the water as well puts the the, the lava out. Yes, it uh, <coughs> turns it into squidgy rock, which turns it into rock, shoot. which you can blow up. Yeah. Which um, always a perk. I mean, these these early levels are just introducing you to the concept. Uh, but uh, as the later ones go on, you do have to sort of rack your brains a little bit and work out, okay, um, what can I do to, um, to do away with this lavery menace? This heated menace. Yeah. I'm going to say for a PSN game, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, the physics on the water are quite nice as well. Mm. Yeah, and Pixel Junk, I mean, they've, they've got an established history of, um, you know, of quality games I mean Racer was quite a basic game in itself but yeah. at the same time it's it's like scale uh huh so um, it's uh, that's a shield pick up there you can pick them up you destroy rocks and you can pick up gems and um, bonuses and one ups and stuff like that but uh, I mean they, they, they have a history of like quite basic games uh -huh. but that have uh, like quite a core 
an interesting principle to them yeah. at the same time. Did they do Pixel Junk Eden? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so the clues I've, in the name. Yes. <laughs> of course. I've I've played that one. That was very strange. Really, I think you just yeah, you, you just bounced around. It's uh, a mental game. Yeah. You but, just bounced um, around on another very psychedelic and coloured leaves. Yeah, it's it's very nice. I mean, one thing I do like about the Pixel Junk games. One is that they they tend to release the soundtracks. Oh. Which are great fun. Uh, the last time you guys came over, I think I put the uh, the Pixel Jump Monster soundtrack on. Is that one where we were looking at the planet? Oh, uh, yes. yes. All of that. Uh, Mr. Hatton discovered he was quite the reconnoisseur of geography. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know that country. That country is. Yep, that's Paraguay. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, it's based in South America. Yeah. <laughs> Just, just in case you have a fleeting interest of geog geographical places. But yeah, it's uh, a fantastic <coughs> game. And um, Eden, I haven't played as much as the others, but um, I only played a demo. It's very it good. But really good. one thing that I wouldn't be surprised at is if uh, they did do um, a, a downloadable content pack for this, as they have done with Monsters and with Eden. Yeah. Because uh, they did encore packs for both of them, and uh, the odds are they'll they'll do one for this as well. First level we have is Fire and Water. Uh, Into the Abyss, which uh, just establishes the uh, the gaming mechanics. Uh, each um, stage has five uh, little zones. Each zone has five levels to complete, and I believe there are three uh, areas to complete. So that totals up 75 different levels. Now I have completed uh, the first zone and I'm 3 out of 5 into the second and uh, I shall soon be on to stage 3 which I believe introduces the oil aspect of it as well which could uh, be very interesting indeed. indeed. Um, now this is one that I've never played before so uh, this could be Treading quite carefully. interesting. So yes in more ways than one. What does the ice do? Does this differ? Do you have it's, it's different, there are different levels to, to the sort of thing so you can get bonus suits to all of this so um, for example on the ice levels you can get like a, a magma suit right, okay. which um, lets you um, fire instead of firing bullets it lets you fire fire oh, I'll get there in a minute hold on <laughs> <laughs> it lets you fire lava and there's also the wet suit oh you've killed another oh, one oh you've blown one of them up Oh, and I've dead. just died, yep. Um, there's the magma suit which lets you fire lava at, at ice, so you can melt the ice yourself. Right. Uh, there's also the, um, the wet suit which lets you fire water. Uh, and there might be other suits as well, but so far I have not discovered them. Yeah. Oh, he died. <laughs> yeah, quite they've badly, got, they've yes. got some quite good physics as well, I have to mm. say. It's like a little big planet. Yeah. Physics and that are quite good. Even if the gameplay is a bit of a people. Yeah, they, I, I, I wasn't too impressed with that, but we'll, we'll get on to a review yes, of that. We'll some, do, yes, at some point later. Fearing off. Off point. That's a gem in the corner. Yeah, that's one of the uh, the many gems that you pick up. <laughs> so it's easy to play. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's easy to pick up. If, if you're a newcomer to, uh, to games in general, then it uh, should be easy enough. But it also has quite a high... Um, rate of difficulty as well so it's, it's not going to be something that you pick up straight away yeah it's not ridiculously easy yet, no so no it, it does have uh have its moments of awkwardness you're, you're almost blowing up yeah i'm oh, blowing up on a snow level it's, it's almost ironic it is <laughs> ironic that uh fire in the first level is your uh worst enemy but uh so there we go magma worked. suit so now does it have a certain period of time oh. that it lasts for, or is it? Uh, the, the suit is indefinite. <clears throat> right. Ah, uh, but I see you heat up as you use it. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, this is always a... There's a downside to everything. Yeah, There is. And, uh, of course, any time you get too hot, douse yourself in water. Run off you go. And it'll go away. And also, if you get the shield as well, then you're, you're protected from lava and well, from at least one hit from lava. Yeah. Um, of course, the the downside is if uh, if you do happen to get hit twice, rather unfortunately, 
then uh, she lost. It's uh, game over, man. <laughs> So I'm assuming now you've got to divert the, the water somehow. Yeah, which I didn't get at first. First time I played it. Oh, oh no, that's, that's clever. clever. Look at that. Very clever. For those listening, he's just used the water in lava to turn the water into stone to divert it. Divert the, the, yeah. divert the water onto the lava. How droll. Yes. But, um... Not very good at it. <laughs> oh, uh, you, oh no! You've I've blown, blown myself up. Oh, you've fallen into more lava. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, man. But yeah. That's, that's basically it. it's it's fire and water physics, uh, a sort of thing you'd have seen in our intro sequence for yes. the, the yes. finished episode, <laughs> uh, where the uh, the dangers of uh, playing with water pistols <laughs> is fully explored. Yes. But yeah, that's that's the sort of thing. Um, that this is all about and it's a fantastic game can't really fault it I mean um, I'd expect there would be an add-on pack coming next year sometime and I can only hope that they will at some point release the uh, the soundtrack as well because the uh, pixel pixel drink soundtracks are cheap and they are fun to listen to and so it seems to be oh no you're getting some backdraft bro yeah Die. The water one acts like a water pistol, so it pushes you back oh, right, when okay. you fire it. You've, you've, you've veered yeah. off mid. I died. Mid and uh, one one other element of uh, the game is the two-player mode, which um, I can't get my head around the control. Right, the controls. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. Right stick is like move around a little yeah. bit. Aim and yeah, left, left, right. And uh, L1 and R1, that's all you need. But yeah, the, um, the two player mode is essentially the uh, the same as one player mode but with another ship. A little green one. So, um, nothing sort of like massively uh, important, but um, if there are two of you and you both want to give it a go, yeah, it's a game that can be completed by one person, but uh, they've given you the option to. Uh, Two yes. Wasn't sure where I was going with that. <laughs> oh, I've been shot at. The thing is, though, it does suffer from the same two-player problem as uh, like Lego Indiana Jones and the Lego games. Ah, uh, yeah. When there's two of you, it goes where. <laughs> oh, whoops! <laughs> Get to the water. It's okay. Ooh. Get out of there. Down here, How down here. Go quick. Press in the same direction with both sticks. Uh... So, Pixel Junk Shooter, well worth buying if you've got the money. Six quid may seem a bit much to some people. It depends on uh, on if you've played the previous games first. But what I'd probably recommend is uh, buying one of the, the previous Pixel Junk games. And uh, and then seeing how you do from there. Um, Pixel Junk Monsters is a sort of like a... Bastard. Sorry. Pixel Jump Monsters is like uh, a tower building, uh, a tower defence game. So uh, that's probably the best place to start, um, unless you like racing cars, in which case get a racer. I like uh, racing cars. So yeah, Pixel Jump Racer is probably the best place to start and then move on from there. But um, Pixel Jump, well worth the money. It's just a shame that they seem to have felt the need to go down the uh, Infinity Ward pricing route that uh, most publishers seem to be doing. I mean, even Assassin's Creed is doing that as well. Which uh, we didn't discuss in our previous podcast. The uh, downloadable content they uh, they basically just missed out of the uh, the main game because they knew they could charge for it. But uh, there we are. So uh, yeah, well worth the money. Well worth the uh, the seven out of ten we've given this. And um, he's going to die. Yeah, there we go. And uh, roll on the uh, inevitable expansion pack. This has been Sixty Second Gamer, and thank you for listening. If you have been, and we'll see you next time.